Hey Shopify users, today I'm going to show you how to make changes to your theme, preview those changes, and then take them live. Let's get started. So here's a test product I've put in here called Cool Jeans. Uh, let's give it a preview, see what it looks like. Okay, cool jeans, looks great, all right? But ah, not as great as it could. I think I wanna move this sail down under the next line. So let's just look at the code and see how we can manipulate it to make that change. Here we are in our Shopify administration panel and we're gonna jump straight into it by coming down to online store. And we wanna duplicate this theme. The reason we wanna duplicate this theme is because we don't want our customers to see the changes that we're gonna be making until we're absolutely sure that they're ready to be looked at. So down here, actions and duplicate. So the theme we wanna edit is not the current theme, but it's in the theme library. I'm gonna select this actions tab and I wanna choose edit code. On the left here, what we can see is all the files associated with our theme. And what we want to edit is the snippets. Today, the snippet we particularly want to edit is called productprice.liquid. Okay, so now we're navigating down here to these price badges. And let's see what happens when we manipulate these. I'm gonna grab this whole block, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna move it under this div here, and paste it. And what I think will happen is it's just going to duplicate exactly what we see here. And that is going to be the sale and the sold out badges, right? First, now we're gonna save it and just see what happens. Let's see what has changed. I'm gonna show you how to preview these changes. We can click the actions button and bring up a preview. And this will give us a specific preview of the test store that we're working on, not the live store. So that's important here. I can come back to my page. Knowing that I'm looking at my preview theme, this is not the live theme, it's very different. Reload and some success. Okay, we have the sale price here and we have the sale price there. So technically we have a duplicate. Now. This is bad if this was the live site, but this is just our testing site. So we can do whatever we want here. We can get it right and then make it live. So let's just move this along and get it right. And I think we can do that just by removing this block of code and leaving this one. So coming back to our code, I'm going to look at this span here, talking about being the sale. I'm gonna grab that and I'm going to delete it. Now, I also have this sold out badge that is duplicated here and here, so I definitely don't want them in the same space either. So mm, today I'm going to take the sold out from away from down here. Okay, I'm gonna save this and let's preview it again. I can see here the asset is saved. Going to my test store, reloading and great. This is exactly what I was looking for. I'm happy with this, so I'm going to now make it live. Okay, so now we wanna take this live. I'm gonna come back and let's come back to online store. And it's really simple here. We just need to come down to the theme we've been working on, select the actions and publish. It's gonna give you some options here. Do you want to, are you sure? Today we are sure, yes, publish please. And there we see, you can see the theme we were working on has been moved to the current theme and the theme that was previously the current theme has been moved down into the theme library. So if we wanna make sure this is what we want, we can come here to this eyeball, view your store. It's gonna open up a new tab. We're gonna to browse to the product. Okay, great. And we've shown you how to duplicate your theme. We've shown you how to make changes in a way that your customer can't see what you're doing until it's ready to be seen. And then we've shown you how to take those changes live so your customers can see the updates. 
It's an important process to understand for Shopify development because when you do more complex changes, you don't want the site to break for the user. You just want the site to always work. But in that same sense, you want to iterate, you want to make it better, you want to improve the experience. So this is the method we use to do that.